Python is the first programming language I ever learned and after coding in it for actually more than 3 years, I can say with full confidence that it is one of the most versatile and powerful tools a developer can have. But here's the thing, it took a long time for me to figure out what all you can actually do with Python. From building websites, to diving deep into data, to automating even cloud infrastructure. It is actually insane how many doors it opens. In this video, I'm going to save you from going on that long confusing path that I went over. We are in this age of information overload and it is very easy to get lost and that is why I have distilled everything I know into three solid roadmaps, three clear directions you can take with the Python programming language to build a real career out of it. Hello guys, if you're new here, I'm Anudeep and I work as a software engineer by the day and on this YouTube channel, I make videos on tech, entrepreneurship and self-improvement. So if any of those things sound interesting, please consider subscribing. Enough of the plug. This is going to be a very high value video. So pick up your pen and paper or your favorite note taken app or whatever and let's get started. First up, we have a path about which a lot of people are really curious about and which has basically become the talk of the town and in which I also actually believe the future lies and that is data science and machine learning. If you are the kind of person who loves finding patterns, problem solving or digging deep into data, this is just the field for you. And even if not, hey, the future of tech lies there and so it is any day a good choice to pursue. So it all starts with core coding skills Basically, Python fundamentals, you will need to learn concepts like variables, data types, loops, if-else statements. This is the basic stuff, the absolute bare minimum. After that, you need a solid grasp of mathematics. And by that, I'm talking about statistics, linear algebra, and a bit of calculus. Why? Because this is actually the language of machine learning models. And I would say you don't need to be an expert in any of these fields, but having a strong understanding will help you what is happening under the hood and will definitely help you become the master of your field. It will give you that edge which virtually everybody nowadays is looking for. Once you're comfortable with that, learn into data manipulation libraries. Frameworks like NumPy and Pandas will become your best friends. You will use them to clean up messy data sets, transform them into different structures and get them ready for analysis. After this comes the fun part, data visualization. With libraries like Matplotlib and Searborn, you will turn actual numbers into insights. Imagine turning boring rows and columns into easy to use, beautiful graphs that actually tell a story. Now that is really powerful for an organization. And from there will begin your journey of actual machine learning the big elephant in the room. Start with scikit-learn, I would say. It is amazing for building models like linear regression, decision trees, and even clustering algorithms. With linear regression, you can predict trends and forecast results. On the other hand, decision trees are like smart decision makers and they help you answer yes and no type situations using your data, obviously, because machine learning is built on data. And then you have clustering algorithms, for example, k-means, which will help you find natural groupings in your data. And so once you have learned about these, once you have made at least a couple of projects on each of these, then you are ready to touch libraries like TensorFlow or PyTorch. Now, these are very powerful and they will help you build deep learning models. Things like neural nets and even AI tools like ChatGPT well, obviously not GPT, but like things similar to that. Now, at this point, you can even branch into NLP, that is Natural Language Processing, or CV, that's my favorite. And Python sort of makes all of this accessible. Now, actually, this is a lot to process. And if you end up doing all these things, you will be guaranteed in the top 1% of machine learning engineers in this entire world. But still, if you are looking for an entry-level role, complete till the basic algos part, till scikit-learn, and then you can start applying. Next up, we have web development. This is where most people begin, and honestly, for a good reason. In today's world, every organization, every business, every service, they all need a website, they all need a web home, a sort of an idea that lives on the web. And Python gives you the tools to bring these ideas to life fast and efficient. To get started, again, you need strong Python fundamentals. You need to learn loops and if-else statements and variables and data types. And you also need to think in terms of objects, i.e. object-oriented programming, also known as OOPS. All of these things are sort of the basic building blocks of every project that you will ever make. Once you have mastery over it, once you have built some basic projects, 
then you are ready to dive into the real stuff, real frameworks that will help you build these web apps. Frameworks like Django or Flask are powerful tools that help you bring these ideas to life. They help you build web apps without having to reinvent the wheel every single time. For example, Django is a full stack framework. It's a full course meal, sort of. It comes with everything built in. You name it, authentication, admin panel, ORMs for database management, and even templating. It is absolutely perfect if you want to build something fast without having to reinvent the wheel as I said. And then there is Flask which is a much more lightweight alternative. It gives you just the bare essentials and let you choose and pick the rest. So you can think of Django being a full-fledged SUV and Flask being a sports car which is lightweight but runs fast but offers less customization. Then you will need to learn about databases. Websites need to store stuff, user data, product info, whatever. That is where learning SQL or SQL or whatever people pronounce it and how to work with ORMs really pays off. And yes, even though Python is mostly backend, you will need to understand the basics of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Trust me on this. It makes everything smoother when the backend talks to the front end and you are able to see all the synchronization. And finally, there is deployment. Building the app is just half the story. You need to get your app online, whether on AWS or some other platform. Once you build a project, deploy your project and see it live, man, it is a feeling like no other. And finally, we have the underrated hero of Python, which is DevOps, automation and cloud. And if you are somebody who loves solving problems behind the scenes or making things efficient or even automating boring stuff, this is exactly the field for you. Here, Python sort of becomes your script for automating everything, renaming thousands of files, monitoring servers, and sending alerts when something crashes. You know, this is not all the flashy stuff, but the admin sort of stuff that actually keeps the website alive. When you start doing it, you will wonder how you actually lived without it. But it doesn't stop here. You will start building system level skills, working from the command line, writing shell scripts, and managing files and processes like a pro. And all of these are skills that make you immensely valuable in an engineering team. And then there is cloud. Google Cloud, Azure, AWS, whatever is your choice of cloud, these platforms run the entire internet. Well, not entirely, but sure. And Python lets you take control of it. You can automate server creation, manage storage, or even deploy apps directly from your scripts. And of course, finally, containerization. Things like Kubernetes let you manage and scale your apps reliably. And when you combine that with CI/CD pipelines, you become a full-on automation wizard. So in a way, Python in this career path is not just about coding, it is about building the entire infrastructure which holds the code. So there you have it. I know it was a lot, but these are the top three roadmaps or top three solid directions that you can take to build a career from Python. And where you go and which path you choose sort of depends on what you are most interested in and what sort of lights you up. Because remember, if you always work on the things that interest you, that sort of gives you an unfair advantage because you will always be playing and somebody else not interested in what you're doing will always be working and he can never beat you. Anyways, whatever you choose, Python always has your back. All right, guys, if this helped you see your path a bit more clearly, please let me know down in the comments below what roadmap are you most excited about. And of course, if you want more real, no BS breakdowns like these, please consider subscribing. As always, it means a lot. I've got way more coming your way. Thanks for watching. Go build cool stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.